Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a little quick little um, reindeer Medusa wig thing. I there these are all over Pinterest, you know, different versions of like cocoa or um, brownie mix. I've seen chocolate chip cookie, you know, whatever. So these are clear bags. They're cone bags, and I use these a lot. Those are awesome. I'll put the link for those and my coupon code down below. Um, and so then what I did, I made, um, I've got, I showed it in my golden books. I've got the old recipe book for Chex Mix and all that stuff, like when it first came out. I think it's from Ralston. I'm not sure, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, whatever company it is. So they had a bunch of recipes, and I did a caramel one. This is all with rice checks. So it's a caramel one, and then a cinnamon, sugar cinnamon one. They're so good. These, like, this is all that I have left, and I made tons. I made, I probably, I bet I made 25 bags, 25 or 28. Um, and they went really fast. Um... All I did was use some Dollar Tree glitter um, pipe cleaners, or chenille, whatever. I think they're pipe cleaners. And then these are their little bows. And I could have used googly eyes, but I only had little tiny ones. And I, I vowed, other than Dollar Tree stuff here and there, I wasn't going to go buy supplies. I was going to try to make do. So I just made my own little, um, that's like a little, what is it, a quarter half inch punch and three quarter inch punch and then that is an old fashioned a vintage hole punch that I have that's really big and these are Dollar Tree balls and then I just used um, glue dots to put everything on here including the bowl so it's a quick and easy um, recipe this one is super easy it's uh, yeah, third of a cup of butter melted in a pan, and then you mix like a, I'll put the recipe below, but it's just um, sugar and cinnamon, and you put the Chex Mix in, and you mix it all up with the butter, to get it nice and coated, and then you throw the cinnamon on, or you put it in a bowl, and then throw the cinnamon on, and mix it all up. This one is a little harder. This is um, butter, and uh, I think it's a half a cup of butter, and tablespoon of um, clear corn syrup and you slowly heat that up or melt it I should say and then you add I think it's a cup of brown sugar and you get it all kind of wet with the butter and then leave it alone but do not go and see why your washing machine is jumping around so much because when you come back there was a little spot that was kind of getting burnt so I quick scooped it out and I was safe but literally watch it. It's, you want it on the lowest possible heat until that mixture kind of doubles in size and gets real foamy. And that probably takes about, it was probably 20 minutes because I putzed with my washing machine for about four minutes and then started thinking, I forgot my stove. Anyway, so um, this is really good. Like Scrubby was trying to eat it all and I wouldn't let him. So he gets these last two. I get the cinnamon crunch. Anyways, um, I mean, somebody actually, this was like last week, right? Which was, if I don't post this for a while, my sale was on November uh, 9th. And someone actually asked me if this would last okay till Christmas. And when I said, I said, oh, sure. <laughs> Bill's like, no, it wouldn't last in our house. And I'm like, I said, no, it probably won't last. You know, stale-wise, it might get stale. But I said, you know, you could you could put it in the freezer, and that would be fine. So she bought two, and I thought, eh, they won't make it to Christmas. I mean, she'll eat it. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> so um, those were hot sellers. So I just I thought I might as well do a couple other hot sellers. Again, clear bags. And then these I reprised from last year these sell crazy fast and it's the Ghirardelli peppermint bark I think I got this for seven dollars um, just on Amazon and then I got the Hershey nuggets for 3 dollars 
at Wally World. And I think Wally World... No, 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 I'm lying. I got this and the nuggets this time at Wally World. Because you can just order it and then go pick it up. Did I bump you? Sorry. So anyways, that's what's in here. This is the Tim Holtz bag, um, steel rule bag die. And I just cut off the bottom where the, all the little flaps are for the bag. But I, con you know, I kept the folds of the bag and I glued one in or, you know, taped one in, put the candy in, taped the other end, and then crimped both ends so it looks kind of like a little, I don't know, just kind of zhuzhes it up a little bit. So these are three for two dollars and I only have about four left and I made oh my gosh I had like a stack of paper oh and the paper is you know the Michaels paper where it's um, kind of copy paper white but it's really cute patterns this is like I think three years old or four years old this maybe more this pack so I don't even know if they still sell it but I would think and then I just made up my own little saying Ghirardelli for your belly and I did this on the silhouette, and then I have a little stamp from um, KS Crafts for the little candy piece. Hot seller. Any of these little candy things are like this. I brought both sales so far. I brought, I think, 15 to each one and sold them all out. These I sell also three for $2.00. Um, because I put one Gear or one Hershey nugget in there, or Bliss, whatever it is. Bill calls them treasure chests because they look like treasure chests. So I don't know if that's what they're called. He thinks it is, but I've been selling them for seventy-five cents. Um, and then this last time, I thought I'll try three for two dollars to get rid of whatever I have left. And on this, I just punched a little one-inch scallop, and then this is like a. Boy, I can't remember what punch that is, but I will put it down below. It might be from Yazy Crafts online. I'm not positive. I'll put it down below. These are super cute and go fast. Um, I made these last year, and they didn't go fast at all. This year, I'm almost out. I think I have three left. And this, I came up with this little thing myself. I don't know if somebody else has it somewhere, but it's using the... Um, Envelope dot envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. And I kind of made just like a ticket strip out of it, which would be a really cute, another cute idea to make a bunch of ticket strips, like long ones, and then put mats for photos. So this is a um, paper smooches. Oh, I drew a blank. This bucks for you, or a few bucks for you. And I told people... You can put a gift card here or else you could fold up a, a 20 or 100 or 50 or whatever and put it in there. And then they can write in here and if they want, they can put a photo or something else here. So there's that. This is the old Martha Stewart thingy. And all my gift cards are a buck or three for 250 And these gift cards sold uber, uber, super fast. This is all I have left. And I think I made... I think I made 30 or 40 of them. I don't remember, and I wrote it down upstairs. I can't remember if it was 30 or 40. These sold super duper fast. Um, these are, again, a clear bag holder. And these are 75 cents or three for two. And this is what they look like. This is the um, In Love Art shop. So is this. I'm sorry. So is this. And check out her shop. Uh, there's a discount code below, but so the gift card goes right in here. But these are really cute. These, for some reason, sold super fast this year. Um, it was a pretty good year this year. Last year I was so disappointed. The last two years. Um, and with these, I just um, used some old, when it got into my vintage button stash, that's probably not vintage, but it's cute, um, and just put that on. And then those are the Dollar Tree foam glittered stickers so that's it oh and here's another one so I have four left five left and the paper I used is from um, Hobby Lobby the paper studio so um, that's it I might leave these out there so you can 
watch it as I say bye bye thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so we have a lot of fun visiting back and forth via comments and um, it's just fun to meet new people so thanks so much for watching and talk to you later bye